everybody, this is your friendly commentator, JJ Man, and I am uh, going to be doing a little extra of that Tekka tutorial part 3. Uh, I had a request to look over the uh, energy condenser a little bit more, and uh, a little thing called alchemy. Now, I'm going to add a few more things to it, just for uh, some fun. Um, as, long, as well as to make this a little longer, actually, I'm going to add these two also. Uh, just because they are a whole lot of fun to play with. And let's grab one more thing, two more things, actually. This... And I think it's this catalytic lens. We need both of these. Okay. So, we're going to start off with this energy condenser. And the reason I have two is you'll see for in a minute. So, if we put this down, like I said before, what you can do is actually convert items into different items. So, let's actually grab a diamond real fast. If I can find one. I know it's around here somewhere. And... Right there. So, if I put a diamond here, but then I also have a couple of gold ingots. Um, I mean, this is really just kind of the basics of what you do. Uh, you can throw it in here, and it converts it into diamonds. Um, I don't know why you needed extra exclamation for that, uh, but you can throw whatever you want in here. You can throw apples in there if you want it. Uh, apparently, a stack of 64 apples equals one diamond. That's a good thing to know. Um, if you had a ton of bows, <laughs> I don't know. So, it's pretty fun. Uh, a diamond pickaxe you can actually convert back to the diamonds if you needed. Um, pretty useful thing. Apparently you get actually... Oh, because the two sticks. Uh, Jesus, I really need to figure out that other recording system. But um, pretty much you can throw whatever has any EMC value on the bottom. You see under the name of the thing, it has an EMC value. If that exists, then you can throw it in there and it will turn into something. Uh, pretty nice industrial TNT. That doesn't... Some of these don't... Obviously not part of the mod, so it does not work. Um, if it's not part of the mod, you cannot throw it in. Uh, like, and then there's certain items like snowballs you can't throw in. Um, I've never understood that, but <laughs> always an interesting little fact. So, now that we have that out of the way, that's a pretty nice thing. I actually forgot to grab a crafting bench. I need one of those. And that's up here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I should really just start searching, but let's do this. Let's get these out of my inventory and put these in there. Because these are actually useful. Jesus, okay. There's a lot of testificates around here. Okay, so with this crafting bench, there's actually a few things that you can do. So, if you're going to make one of these alchemical bags, and the alchemical bags actually have a few separate properties to them. Um, pretty interesting. So, I can make colored alchemical bags. You can just make a white one if you want. Uh, I don't know why. I, oh, I'm doing it wrong. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, I'm. you're supposed to use an alchemy. Alchemical chest, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, not an energy condenser, so that was pretty useless. Let's grab two of those. Uh, so, if you you need an alchemical chest, four wool, all the same color, and three of these covalence dusts. Um, and I'm going to just make one of these, and I'll make an orange one for you guys, too. I like purple the best, personally. Um, but yeah, you have two alchemical bags. Now these alchemical bags, what you can do is you can right-click them, and look, it's just kind of like a little chest inside of a chest. And you could actually theoretically stack these. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. I think I just... <laughs> okay, don't do that. Do not put the bag inside of itself. Um, then it destroys itself. Good to know. Um, so if you're planning on doing that, don't. Because uh, that would actually be quite an, ex an expensive change. I don't know where those bags are. Bag. Oops. So don't do that. Um, actually, I wonder... I wonder if this is... Yeah, look at that. Um, it actually, apparently, if you were to lose it, you just have to make another one of the same color. Uh, so let's see. I'll, sh I'll show you again. So let's... Let's do this for you guys. Um, in this bag, we're going to put some pump... We're going to put some jukeboxes, because that's a lot. We're going to put some diamonds. Now, let's go... Oop, why am I not flying? Let's go over here now. Uh-oh. I just dropped in lava. This bag doesn't have it, but... This bag... Does. So, interesting little uh, work there, and you could also put it... You could also have it in this one as well. So you could actually put your bag in here. Oop, still there. Um, and if you were to lose this one, you'd have, you could just make another one and ta-da, you have them all back. So that's an interesting little feature of that. Now, 
Oh shoot, I should have kept one of those. <laughs> uh, I was going to show you something. Ooh, that's a pink one, I like that one. I think it's pink, yes. I'm being texted. No. Okay, it's fine. I can ignore it right now. Okay, so... Let's say you have one of these in here, the black hole band. Now, the black hole band is fairly simple to make once you've gone along. Now, you already know how to make dark matter. And an iron band is pretty simple. Uh, you need lava bucket and some iron. That'll make you an iron band. Uh, just like this formation. I'm not going to make one because uh, this is not... I mean, that's the crafting right there. If you need to look it up, just push R on an item. I don't... That's apparently a way to make a lava bucket. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um... So, if you are to put this little item in here, actually you have to charge it first, sorry. Once you charge it, you can put that in here, and now any item dropped will be automatically put into there. Sorry, that confused me for a second. So look, I push Q, it gets dropped, and it's in this. So that's it. Anything that gets dropped automatically gets sucked into this little bag. A very, very, very very useful um, attribute um, and actually fairly simple to make now this gem of internal destiny I recommend making this one anyway um, and I'll show you how to make it uh, also again fairly simple two dark matter uh, two obsidian and five diamonds uh, it may seem expensive but actually it's fairly cheap and very very useful now once I charge this I'm out, uh, I wish I could, let's go to off creative current cream of off so watch this. If I just start throwing obsidian or cobblestone in here, it starts going away. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Um, and let's actually throw something a little better into there. Let's throw where's some obsidian. Now you see, I already, I have an iron ingot now. That's interesting, isn't it? And uh, by the way, this another cool feature about this that I never knew about is really amazing. It'll stop at 64 cobblestone so that you always have building materials. That is a pretty amazing feature that they implemented. Um, and now it'll start converting into gold ingots. Keep going. And then some diamonds. Now if I turn this off, I have two diamonds. Now, you may think, how is this useful? Well, let's turn it back on. And open up this bag and throw it in here. Now, if I were to drop some cobblestone... Look at there. It's in there, and it gets converted. It's getting converted automatically inside of here. Um, I may need to change it to daytime. Um, so, both of those are almost a necessity with these bags, if you were to make these bags. Um, it's just a pretty, pretty damn amazing material to have when you're mining. Um, you'll never, ever fill up with cobblestone, because this one will automatically uh, cover it up for you. So, let's see if I just throw this in here. Look at that. Automatically converts for you. Um, a little glitchy, though. It's a little glitchy, but you get the idea. Um, pretty fun, and those guys are talking to each other. So, um, I'm going to just get rid of this fun stuff, and we're going to look into these guys. Now, these are little interesting materials. I'm going to show you what they do first. Um, actually, I'll show you how to craft them first. Nova Cataclysm. You get two of them from a TNT and a Mobius fuel. And then the Nova Cataclysm, you need a Nova Catalyst and an Atronalis fuel, and you'll get two of them as well. Uh, oh, I'm not on creative mode. There we go. <laughs> so now, if I go over here, place that down, it has a stone sound for some reason. And it's just TNT to light them. And actually, I'm going to show you this real fast. Um, hopefully I'm right. What is... I wonder what that star means. Huh, okay. So, I can stand right next to it, and it doesn't hurt me. Uh, and it's a very, very, very quick fuse. And now you see I just have a ton of dirt on me. So that's pretty fun. Um, let's go back to creative mode. I just wanted to show you that it does not hurt you. Uh, so you might get freaked out about that, but you're just fine. Now, that's a fairly big size hole. And if you notice, I got every single material back. Now, this one. <laughs> I'm going to go a little farther away. This one on the other hand. Oh, shoot. Where's my redstone? Oh, shoot. Um... Oh, well, I'll just go off the creative mode. Um, don't. A little bit bigger timer. Hopefully I don't die. That would make 
That's awesome. So, once again, a much, much, much bigger explosion. As you can see, the amount of dirt in my inventory. Uh, I hate doing this. Um, and this works with underground, so if you really just want to do a quick mining, uh, it's a pretty s oops, shoot. it's a pretty simple way to do it. Um, you will pretty much never uh, have a problem with mining again. So, much bigger hole compared to that one, as you can see. Um, and very pretty useful. If I could go underground, I would show you guys. I don't know why I decided to do a flatland. It's just easier. So, with these materials, though, obviously you have that, but you can make some of these next few items, like this destruction catalyst. Oop. Whoops. Destruction catalyst takes four Mobius fuel, a flint and steel, and a Nova catalyst, or and four Nova catalysts. So let's actually get four of those Nova catalysts. Two, three, four. Uh, flint and steel, which is in tools. So flint and steel, and some mo. Oops, no BS fuel. Two, three, four. And you, once again, you should all know how to craft this. Um, so we're going to make this guy right here. I don't know why I'm crafting it actually, but since I just showed you how to craft it. But we'll do it anyway. Ta da! Destruction catalyst. So let's get rid of that one. Now, if you are to have, let's say, redstone in your inventory, um, or not. Redstone? Where's redstone? There it is. So now I have redstone in my inventory. Oops. And I'm actually going to go and over here and charge it up. Charging it up with V. Just like before. Now let's actually go down a little bit. And if I just right click. There we go. Now we've just gotten rid of all that. And that little black ball will contain every single thing we just picked up right there. Um, very useful when underground. And also this is what I was talking about when I said... Um, you could use these little stick things. Um, I don't remember what they're called. You could make these... Uh... Oh shoot, where are they? I'll see it when I recognize it. Or I'll recognize it when I see it. Uh, okay, these things. Uh, the divining rods. Remember if uh, if you were to right click he here. Oh, say, oh, best found. 8,122 8, or whatever diamond is. Click, right click with this. And uh, guess what? We've got that diamond just automatically in our inventory. So it's pretty useful, and it uses red, uses redstone, it uses glowstone, it uses sulfur, glowstone, dust, any fuel really. It'll use up your fuels to power this thing. Uh, so pretty fun. Um, so that's that piece. Now, oh shoot, <laughs> hyperkinetic lens. Um, I have to remember what this does. A hyperkinetic lens, when charged up... I'll show you how to craft it real fast. I don't think it does... I don't remember what it does. I think it converts... Hmm. I don't remember what this one does. Um, let's actually go over here and check if it does anything to the liquid. No, I have no idea what it does. Uh, I've never used this one. I just use the next step of it. But because you need this hyperconnect lens in the catalytic lens. Now you need all of this dark matter, you need seven dark matter, the destruction catalyst, and the hyperkinetic lens. Now to make the hyperkinetic lens you need six diamonds, two dark matter, and one nova catalyst. Just like in this formation. Okay? Now, since we already have one, I'm not gonna make one, but all that fun and oh actually I know why it wasn't working. It wasn't working because we didn't have redstone in our inventory. Um, you do always need fuel in your inventory, so let's actually grab glowstone. So glowstone is actually the best fuel to have. Wherever it is, there it is. Glowstone is always the best fuel to have, uh, but redstone is obviously good. Now, look how much farther that one is <laughs> compared to the n this one. That is 64 blocks long compared to 16. So four times as long. Much, much more materials. And uh, a lot of fun as well. Um, let's actually grab that other the cataclytic. Oh shoot, the uh, not the kind of the hyperkinetic lens. No, I don't want. Just give me one. Just give me one. Okay. 
is what we might now figure out what it does. There we go. So it does an explosion kind of area. And apparently it does damage. So be careful with that. There we go. So this one is a much more destructive version of it. And I think if I... Yeah, if you right click with the uh, cataclytic lens as well, it does the same thing. Um, so if, if you're hoping to use that, well, you have it. Alright, so we had our fun with that. Oh, did I create a hole in the bedrock? No. It's like, that'd be interesting. So, uh, pretty destructive little pieces. Now, I hopefully this uh, gives you guys some sort of insight of what you wanted to know. I don't exactly know if that's what you wanted to know. Um, if it wasn't, just message me and I'll maybe give you a private lesson because I d don't, didn't understand from your comments and you know who I'm talking about. Uh, but this should be a pretty good help uh, as well. Um, actually, I'm going to show you one more thing. Where's that transmutation tablet? Transmutation tablet. I'm going to show you one thing. So we have this and we need to teach it some couple of fuels, so let's get it. Some nicolite, nicolite coal, and redstone. Now I don't know if I showed you this before, but just in case, um, this transmutation tablet can actually be used for energy conversion. So now, as you can see, this is, says fuel up top instead of matter. Um, now, you can't convert between fuel and matter in the transmutation tablet. However, you can do it in the uh, this thing. So, like, if I were to throw it in here, that is this is matter, this is fuel. So you can do it that way. Now, I can teach it coal as well. Redstone. Uh, uranium, glowstone, glowstone blocks. All those work. But now, look at this. Stack of 64 uranium or nickelite is two stacks of 64 redstone. Quite useful. Now a stack of 64 nickelite is a stack of 64 coal. Um, I think that is pretty much the best conversion rate you can get because generally when you mine nickelite, um, let's actually get some nickelite or nick oh shoot nickelite ore. Um, Let's get off of creative mode. Let's give ourselves a pickaxe. Oh yeah, red matter pickaxe. You know it. <laughs> so now, a nickelite ore. Jesus, I really need to invest in a much better recording system. So, uh, before it gets nighttime, uh, I just want to show you this. Now, one nickelite ore. Look at that, you get one, two, three, four, five nickelite dust. One nickelite dust equals one coal. So even if you're just using a normal pickaxe, like a diamond pickaxe, one use of the nickelite, one nickelite mining equals five coal. Pretty nice, I, if I do say so myself. Actually, I want to show you this real fast. Um, maybe not. Can I get in there? So look at that. Look what's in that chest. Oh, shoot. This is not going to end well. Okay, look at this chest. Two apples, gold ink. Oh wait, this is a different one. There are, oh my god. Okay, so there's four diamonds here, an iron helmet, seven saplings, gold ingot, apples, bread. Okay, okay. See what I'm getting at? Now, back to creative mode. There's another, there's two, f there's two uh, of these things in here. That's funny. And now this one. Four diamonds, pants, legs, pickaxe, bread, sword. That is the most epic village I've ever seen. I didn't think there was two. I just saw this one. I was like, oh, yeah. But no, there's two. Wow. Okay. So hopefully that helps out, guys. Uh, like I said, um, message me if you still have any confusion. I'll still make these. Uh, I also want to know what else to make. What other pieces of this mod to make. If I don't know how to do it, I'll definitely look into it and figure it out for you guys. So it'll make it a little bit easier. Uh, so thanks for watching. Really appreciate your likes, comments, and subscriptions. I killed them fast. And I will see you guys next time.